What's going on guys? It's uh, winter time up here in upstate New York. It's been freezing cold, icy, snowy. Uh, just kind of a depressing time of year, but uh, I'm in the warehouse at Frozen CPU and I figure let's do something fun for today. Uh, let's take a look at some UV stuff. UV stuff, pretty common. We sell like UV sleeving, connectors, heat shrink, uh, whatever, whatever UV lighting, and every now and then um, we have some issues with customers in UV. So I'm going to be testing some UV stuff. We're going to do a little ghost walk uh, with me just holding the camera. Sorry about the shakiness. We're going to take a look at some stuff, some sleeving and what we got back there. Uh, to test the UV, I'm just going to be using this LED tester. I've got two uh, 10 millimeter frozen CPU UV LEDs. And this is just the uh, LED tester we sell. I will link a picture of that and the price right up here somewhere so you can see that these things are pretty cool um, you can put the uh, LED in with different amounts of current but anyway so for an example right here um, the problem is UV reds are generally speaking not that great and we're in full light here so you're not going to get the full effect but just looking at these like you know your your UV yellows well, you can't see that on camera at all. Uh, like your UV yellow, that stuff is going to fluoresce pretty good. Your UV orange will too. But like reds really don't do that much. Reds and pinks, they're not the best. Boy, I thought this was going to come up better on camera. Yeah, we'll do it with the lights off. But yeah, if you buy something UV red, uh, whether it's sleeving or cables or whatever, generally speaking, UV red doesn't really fluoresce. Same with pink. Pink is just washed out red. It's your yellows, your, your bright yellows, and your greens, and your oranges, and some of your blues. Like, here's a, here's a blue right here. That one fluoresces a little. Well, you guys, I was really hoping this was going to look better on camera. UV reds and those darker UV colors, uh, sometimes they just don't glow at all. You need a lot of UV light. Um, and UV cathodes, not my favorite thing. You really want to go LEDs. Um, but anyway, let's go for, uh, we're going to turn the lights off, go into the back room, the sleeving room, and we're going to just see what we can see. All right, so if any of you guys play Phasmophobia, we're essentially looking for ghost fingerprints with our UV light. We're going to go into the dark here. All right, first, this is kind of in the light, but we got some heat shrink. You know, you can clearly see that that heat shrink glows. You know, you can see the fluorescing of the UV stuff. But now let's go into the dark. Hopefully you can see that. You got some UV green. There's some UV blue. All right. None of that's UV, none of that's UV. Oh, there's some more fingerprints. Okay, that is, um, that's some Flexo there. That's one of my favorites. And even though that looks red on camera, that is UV orange. Let's take a closer look. There's some yellows. Sorry it's loud in here. The warehouse heaters are on, of course, as soon as I try to do this video. All right. So we've got UV orange, and then that's non-UV orange down there. Kind of looks pink on camera. What else do we got here? Oh, there's some UV yellow down there. Sorry, it's going to get really loud in here. All right. So there is some pretty decent UV pink. That's the uh, superhero sleeving right there, I think. Okay. Can't see anything. Alright. So we're just in UV light here. Uh, let's try and something pink or red. Um, so this is bright UV pink right here. And I got the UV light right on it. See, there's your yellow. There's your pink. Pinks and reds just really are not 
not a good UV color. So if I turn this light off, we got nothing. So keep that in mind. It's, it's really all about the yellows and greens and some of the blues. Okay, let's look at some connectors. We can see some backstock connectors kind of just fluorescing. There's some UV red again. Not so great. Okay, there's some uh, like light green. Okay, what else we got? You can just kind of see UV colors peeking out. Same with over there. So you can see the greens, the oranges, the yellows, but there are blues and stuff in there too, they just don't really fluoresce. And reds, of course. Okay, what do we got? What do we got here? Those yellows really fluoresce. Look at that. Super bright. Here's some orange. Let's see if we have any reds. There's like a pretty cool orange yellow. There's red right there. That's UV red. It really just doesn't do anything. And it's kind of cool. It's a good way to find the UV stuff in the warehouse. All right, let's get out of here. Okay, here's a good example too. Greens, and you get to the reds. They don't really fluoresce. The dark greens, not so much either, but any of this light stuff, fluoresce is really good. Now I got a couple coolants out with clear bottles like those. That's the, uh, what is this here? It's the Mayhems. I think that's the new Nuke. Yep, so obviously that's pretty cool. There's the blue. Works. Not quite as crazy. Um, this is some pretty direct UV light. Um, if you put a 100 ohm resistor in front of these LEDs, ooh, the bottom one slipped out a lot. If you put a 100 ohm resistor in front of these uh, LEDs, this is the brightness you'll get. Uh, let's see what we got here. We got some, some EK. Uh, not a lot of clear containers. Ooh, that stuff. That lime yellow fluoresce is pretty good. Let's see what else we got here. Uh, powder pink. That's actually not bad for like a red pink color. Of course, it doesn't come across on camera that well, but that is fluorescing. There's the um, the Mystic Fog. That actually fluoresces really nicely. Wow, that's I'm impressed. I haven't actually done this with the Mystic Fog yet. Let's find the bigger container. Uh, do I have any Mystic Fog? I think I might be out of liters of Mystic Fog at the moment. Uh, let's see, there's some CFX. I don't think that stuff is meant to be UV. Um, yeah, that's just meant to be regular. There's acid green. Again, green. UV fluoresces really, really well. Uh, there's some old view. Okay. Let's see, anything else? Of course, most of this stuff doesn't come in clear bottles. Any of these dyes? Oh, there's some old... Uh, Concentrate from XSPC, they don't make any more. There's some UV clear. So this is clear UV blue stuff, even though it's brown, but it, it will fluoresce UV in your system quite nicely. Alright, that was pretty cool.